So let's immediately proceed to the last hurdle, the final question. Each of our five finalists will answer the same question prepared by our executive committee. The finalists are given 30 seconds to respond. And when her time is up, we will all hear this sound. And just to make sure that this is a fair fight, we just want to inform everybody that the rest of the candidates are wearing noise-canceling headphones. So let's try. Subukan natin. Girls, naririnig nyo ba kami? Sabi ni Mayor Nelson, pag naririnig nyo kami, magbibigay siya ng 1 million pag itataas nyo inyong mga kamay. I guess it's working. So let's proceed. And may I call on our city councilor, Doc Sonny Ranyola, to hand out our very important final question. Thank you so much, Paul. Pagpasensyahan nyo na kami. Medyo tita na kami ni Rabia. Yes. Eh. Ramdam na po namin ang rayuma sa akyat baba dito sa hagdan. Pero mahal po namin ang Miss Bicolandia. So kahit ilang beses nyo pa po kaming paakyatin at pababain, kaya lang po namin. <laughs> I now have the questions. Ready? I'm ready. I'm Question. ready talaga. <laughs> okay. I guess we're all set. I think ready na rin si candidate number 10. She's Shall very we? beautiful. Yes. Hello, candidate number 10. How are you feeling tonight? You're one step closer to Miss Bicolandia crowd. You know what? I am feeling really excited. At the same time, I feel so nervous because it's been years since the last time I joined Beauty Pageants. So this was the very first time again that I am here on stage. Thank you. Trust me, it doesn't show. It doesn't show na matagal na. Anyway, here's your final question. Ready? The pressure to have it all, a successful career, family, and social life can be overwhelming for many women. What advice would you give to women struggling with these societal expectations? Again, the pressure to have it all, a successful career, family, and social life can be overwhelming for many women. What advice would you give to women struggling with these societal expectations? Thank you for that question. You know what, when I was still in college, I've been giving myself a lot of pressure. That is why I've given myself a timeline that the moment I finish my course, I should be a flight attendant. And I am really happy to say that I am now flying with, the, with Philippine Airlines as flight attendant. And you know what, my advice to the people is that people may expect too much from us, but do not let these people judge us and do not let other people Thank you, candidate number 10. Now let's call on our next finalist, candidate number 7. Isa siya sa humakot ng maraming awards din tonight. I heard kanina. Actually, napapalingon ako every time you call her. Hello, Hello candidate number 7. You had a lot of awards tonight. Do you feel any pressure right now? Actually, no, but I'm really grateful to all the sponsors who are here, who are also supporting Miss Bicolandia 2024. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. This is your final question. It's a beautiful one. The pressure to have it all, a successful career, family, and social life can be overwhelming for many women. What advice would you give to women struggling with these societal expectations? Again, the pressure to have it all, a successful career, family, and social life can be overwhelming for many women. What advice would you give to women struggling with these ex societal expectations? My advice would be just take it one step at a time. It, it's true that it's really overwhelming with these societal expectations, with the responsibilities that we have, and actually as a breadwinner, these are the things that I've been struggling to. But let me remind all women that you just have to take one step at a time, breathe and feel, because your journey, you will reach your destination. Thank you.
It's such a beautiful, sweet answer. Naramdaman ko siya, actually. Ako din. Thank Dahil you so let's much. call on our next finalist, candidate number four. I love the gown. Mamaya wala na yan sa backstage. Nakuha mo na. Nasa maleta ko na yan mamaya. <laughs> Hello, candidate number four. I love your color. I love everything about you. Here's your question. The pressure to have it all, a successful career, family, social life can be overwhelming for many women. What advice would you give to women struggling with these societal expectations? You want me to repeat it? Okay. The pressure to have it all, a successful career, family, and social life can be overwhelming for many women. What advice would you give to women struggling with these societal expectations? As someone who has been juggling three jobs, including pageantry, my only advice would be to be brave, be strong, and take courage all the time. I want your story to be like mine. A story when a woman's voice was a threat to this macho feudal society. A story when a girl had to stand up on her own, on her own feet, just to get by in life. So girl, all I have to say to you is be strong and be kind and fill your heart with love. That would be all. Thank you. Billy, mic drop. <laughs> wow, thank you so much. Grabe, hindi lang sila magaganda. Matatalino talaga ang mga Bicolana. Thank you so much, guys. Very deserving top five. Very deserving. So now let's call on our next finalist, candidate number nine. Hello, candidate number nine. Alam mo yung masasabi ko lang talaga, Billy, yung makeup nila, ano yung setting spray na gamit nyo? Kasi hanggang ngayon, no? Hindi pa talaga nalulusa, oh. Mr. Bia, I'm sorry, but it's a secret. Ay, it's a secret. Anyway, are you ready for your final question? I've never been more ready than this. I love the answer. Here is your question. The pressure to have it all, a successful career, family, and social life can be overwhelming for many women. What advice would you give to women struggling with these societal expectations? Again, the pressure to have it all, a successful career, family, and social life can be overwhelming for many women. What advice would you give to women struggling with these societal expectations? My dearest women, it is not a walk in the park to be scrutinized by many, especially by societal expectations. But recalibrate your heart and your mind into thinking that you can be a torch of light and inspiration to others. Because we are not only Bicolanos. Women, we are feisty oragons. That's why all we need is to do good things and make heavens on earth for us to experience the wonders of living together with those that we love. Thank you. It's a tough fight, Billy. Thank you so much, candidate number nine. Kung puro magma-mic drop tayo, every time they answer, wala na tayong mic ngayon. Sira lahat. Tapos na. And Alam now, mo, napakaswerte natin kasi hindi tayo mga judges tonight. Actually, kaya pa ba natin, dear judges? Kinakaya pa natin? Si Abby ni Miss John Lee hindi na daw masyado. Hello, candidate number 16. How are you feeling tonight? I am feeling very much grateful because just to stand in this stage is already a privilege. Especially to have all of these young, beautiful ladies here with me. And so I am very happy to be a top five finalist in Miss Bicolania. And hopefully, it will be fortunate enough to be crowned as the Miss Bicolania 2024. Hindi pa yun yung question, ha? Hindi pa yun yun. Eto pa lang siya. Ready? The pressure to have it all, a successful career, family, and social life can be overwhelming for many women. What advice would you give to women struggling with these societal expectations? Once again, the pressure to have it all, a successful career, family, and social life can be overwhelming for many women. What advice would you give to women struggling with these societal expectations? 
Amidst all the pressure, my advice is to just continue being a social agent that awakens people to their potential and their abilities to make things happen. Just be a nurturer who cradles not just your own dreams, but the dreams of other people as well into your own arms. Because when you prioritize authenticity, you'll understand that your rawness is already imbued with a lasting impact that you don't need material or quantifiable possessions just to elevate your presence. Just like me as a beauty queen, I don't consider myself a beauty queen with a crown, but a compassionate queen who surmounts. Thank you so much. Grabe, Billy. With that answer, Ewan ko na lang talaga. At this point, I also want to congratulate their teams, their handlers, the people responsible for the trainings of these ladies. You have done an amazing, amazing job. Congratulations to them also. And that concludes our top five question and answer portion. But